Hello and welcome to episode 4 of my Colony Survival Tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on mining iron and then smelting it into ingots and also whatever else we can get done. Um, I read a recent blog from the developers and they said a massive update is imminent. Um, about three weeks time it was commented. Uh, so I've decided to make 30 minute episodes until update 4 arrives uh, just because then I can show as much content of the before and after the changes just to give you an idea of um, how it's working out so I've got my food people down there doing the berries and the wheat and I've got my bread on the go if we take a look You'll see that I've got now 204 bread up here. You can see listed 864 food, and they're eating 35 a day as it currently stands with seven uh, colonists. So I'm going to need to increase that to do the iron, and I'm going to need another guard. <coughs> of course, when it <coughs> excuse me, of course when it changes with update four, then I'm going to need to reevaluate everything that I'm currently done. So down here you can see I've been mining down. Currently all the ores at the same level. They have mentioned in the future the ores will be like Minecraft in different layers. So, But as it stands at the moment the ores are endless. So there's an unlimited supply of the ores that are currently in the ground. And um, they're all on the same tier at the moment. So let's get started with doing a miner then. So the first thing that I'm going to need to do is grab some iron so let's put some of these stones in here I need to grab some iron and make a pickaxe put that in my stockpile the next thing to do is to um, create a bed for the miner and you want to put the bed near to where he's mining because they go to the near the colonists will go to the nearest beds. So if I go into here and grab a bed, okay, right. Let's now put the bed down. For now, I'm just going to put it. Uh, I'll just put it here right now, near to the iron. Oh. There we go, like so. And here what I want to do is place a, a container, a chest, a crate, so he hasn't got to walk far. Just basically want him to turn around. There we go. Okay, so we got that, we got that. Next thing to do then is to recruit a colonist. Ooh. Oh, it's not that one that I want, it's the banner. So recruit a colonist, that's good me eight colonists, and now tell it the job. So minor and then right click the tile that tells the new colonist what I want them to do okay now if we go and look Oh, it's day night time already. Oh well. Wow, that did come around quickly. I'm intrigued though where the colonist is. I've not seen him yet. The guards should still take care of all of them. Ah right, there's seven colonists, so I've got to wait for night time to finish before the miner's going to do his job. <clears throat> and that shows me I'll need to remove one of the beds from here as well. 
because otherwise he's going to keep walking all the distance way back when he wants to sleep. Well, no, he'll go to the nearest beds. So that's fine when he gets up. Because he spawned near these beds, that's why he's jumped into these beds. Anyhow, let's go see how the guard is doing while we're waiting. Oh. So apparently when, when update 4 arrives, uh, the zombies won't get killed by the sun anymore. So going to need to employ, because currently what people do is build long mazes. So it takes the monsters a long time to get into the colony and thereby the sun kills them. But they're not going to be able to do that strategy for much but after update 4. Um, because the sun won't kill them anymore. Oh, I think I might need two guards now. Let's go into my stockpile. Oh no, he did get him. I was about to grab the bow and do it myself. Oh, another one's got through. Good. Yep, I'm definitely going to need another guard now. I hope that sun comes up before all of these get in. I'm going to grab my boat because I don't think they are going to do them in time. Oh no, they have. The sun's killed them. Right, let's see if my miner is going to get to work. Yep, there he is. And he's grabbed the pickaxe, you'll notice out the stockpile, and there you can hear him mining. So if we look in here, currently in the stockpile, there's just the one iron ore that I mined myself, so we should see that increase soon. You can see at the top the bar going, showing us what he's doing. Uh, I'm trying to work, figure out why that says minus one unemployed. Right, there we go, So, and that's we. <clears throat> okay, while he's mining the iron, I'm going to go back up here. And this layer, really, I think I'll use for beds. No, actually, I'll put the beds down lower. So up here, the next thing I want to do is, let's have a look. I'm going to need to create a forge so I can start smelting the iron. See, now he's mined up, I've got uh, six more iron. So now I need to smelt it. Oven. Where's the smelter? Oh, I think that's it. Furnace, that's what I need. Uh, need stone bricks, which I've got plenty of. Okay, so let's put that there. And this, I'll put the other side of the chest. Like so, going to need another, let's recruit, because I'm wondering what, alright, so it's saying I haven't got two people, I need two more settlers, or two are unemployed, two jobs are vacant, so let's do two more beds, need straw for this, the arrows I've put down, and I need to do another guard as well, for sure, so let's do a couple more beds, Let's 
just put um, in fact I want to put them down lower because at the moment the sun does kill them when it comes up so the further they've got to walk the better I'm going to move all the beds down there alright that's two beds let's get two more colonists one and two Okay, one will be a smelter, the other can be a guard. There, he's smelting. So the second one should go to the guard post. And there he goes. It just works so beautifully. It just really does. Okay, so that's two here, but I really want to put one along here as well. Okay, let's check the yeah so got iron ingots now being smelted up from the iron the next thing I'd like to do is the workbench um, because with the workbench you can assign someone that they work on the workbench and they will automatically create a certain amount of the items for you. Now let's show you let's actually do it and then show you after so we want a workbench and that can go there now I'm going to need another bed and then I must go and move all the beds down here and another colonist There we go. Alright, let's grab the beds. And quickly put them down. We don't want it to get to night time with no beds. Let's start mining this out now. Right, okay, let's now show you the workbench and how super cool it really is. So with the workbench, if you right click on it, you'll see that you can set the limits for the amount of items uh, this uh, colonist will make. So by default, with all of these, he will always make sure there's five beds in the stockpile. Five crates, three um, quivers, five bows, two furnaces so you get the picture he's always going to constantly keep this topped up to the amount now the thing that really concerns us the most important thing apart from food is arrows we need to make sure we've always got enough arrows because without arrows the monsters are going to kill us see currently it's set to 200 so that's good enough for now okay so just right click on each item and it brings up the details for it so for the smelting here's the limits infinite uh, which is what we want and just to keep going oh night time I've got two guards now let's see how they do and I want to put another guard over here another guard there and one the other side as well 
Although two guards will be fine up until 20 colonists. Cool, they went a the long way back. That was a bit dangerous. Anyway, I guess I'd better get inside. So, as you can see, he got busy, that artisan, and he's made two axes, he's made the five bows, he's made the five beds, so really, really cool, um, the workbench, because it then means that I should never run out of uh, any of the items I need. The only things that you have to, as your colonists grow, at the moment, before update 4, because things might change then, but as it stands at the moment, the two main things to keep on top of are is your food and arrows. Food, obviously, to feed everyone. Arrows, the more monsters, the more colonists, the more monsters, the more arrows you will need. So, as you can see, two guards now are easily taking care of the monsters that are coming. When they go at an angle like that, you can waste a fair few arrows. There we go. Right, now, what I want to do next is, because I've increased the colonists, I need to increase the food. How do you keep on top of the food? Well, my method is always making sure there's about 500 flour, 500 wheat, uh, 500 bread at least. So now I want to build loads more farms to get loads more... Well, first I'm going to get my wheat, so there's always a 500 wheat in the stockpile. Then I'll work at getting 500 flour. Just wait for these zombies to be killed, or the sun to come up. It's nice, in the blog notes, if you like the way the game mechanics work with the guards and all of this, you can continue to play uh, version 3 when update 4 gets pushed. Uh, that is an option that will be open to you if you like this old way. But the trouble is, of course, with all the new content they're going to add, I can't see why anyone would want to stay on version 3. But I do love the way the guards work at the moment. That is one thing I will miss. But then I guess... It, it, I was going to say it makes it easy, but that's only while I've got a few colonists. When you start to get to, well, over 50, then it's going to get really intense with how many zombies come. So, right, let's do some more farms. Two more wheat farms. There we go. There's one. And put another one here. Two. Let's do two more colonists. Two more beds. I'm 
it's great when I grab the beds out he'll just make more, loads more so I don't need to keep these materials in my um, pocket anymore right okay so let's put down a couple more beds Oops, didn't mean to do that. And let's now get two more columnists. One on two. There we go. Let's grab some more crates. Always pays to put a crate by the field. That way they walk, they don't have so far to walk. Okay, let's have a look and see what else we can make. So, um, you need the tailor shop to make the bags for science, for research. Um, and you need the technologist's table for the linen bags, which is also for the science bags. Oh, let me just turn that off. Sorry about that. Right, okay, so let's have a look. What are we gonna make next? So we need linen bags, so we need, in order to do unlock all of this, we're going to need to start by getting the shop because the shop is where we buy the flax seeds from. Uh, we need gold coins though in order to do that so time to get ourselves a gold miner and then we'll need to make a mint so we can smelt it into coins then we can build ourselves a shop and buy some flax which then we can use to uh, it's for one of these that we need anyway all unlock so the next step is a gold miner so let's create another colonist another bed oh and this bed of course we want to put down here So, okay, so let's see. I think this is gold. If you're not sure, just mine some up by left clicking, keeping it pressed. There, now let's have a look. Is that gold? Yeah, that's gold. So, this is where we want the miner to be. So, let's go to here, right click, oh, right click. No, how do I get rid of this? There we go. Right click away from any item. Oh, done it again. Let's go over here and try this. There we go. I was right click and I should have left clicked. Minor, and then we're going to tell it gold. Just there. Okay, put another chest down. Oh no, that chest is near enough. So now we want a colonist. There we go. Now he's going to start mining gold for us. Some of these materials aren't used yet. So that's why I won't be doing all of them. Here he comes.
Right, so now he's going to be mining gold. Now we can work on a mint. So it's going to be time to do a new chest. Uh, so first of all, though, let's have a look at how we can do... Ah, oh, he's done one for me, the crafter. How cool is that? So, right, okay. So we can grab that. And this can go over here, I guess. And let's put the mint just there. And you can see that's going to now do an infinite amount of gold coins as the miner mines up the gold. But of course we need a worker so let's now go put down another bed. And recruit another colonist. Right, okay. Oh, it's night time. We've got 15 colonists. Let's see how much zombies we get attacking us this time. And let's have a look. How are we doing food-wise? Well, food's gone down a bit. But speculate to accumulate, because I've put two more wheat farms down, that should start to give us a lot more uh, wheat once they uh, grow. Remember it takes two nights, two days for the wheat to grow. But even eating 75 food a day, we've still got plenty. You can see the guy working on the workbench is keeping all my supplies steady for me. So I don't need to craft anything at the moment myself. I get him to do it. So we got the mint. The shop is what I'm going to be going for next. I need planks and gold coins. The gold coins are going to be made for me. So really, actually, the next thing I need to do is a... Um, lumberjack and create a couple of tree farms ooh lots of zombies coming and it's not good when they waste arrows like that As you can see, two guards, no worries. Up to 20 colonists, two guards should be fine. Although I suppose I will do a third guard, or a fourth guard in fact, because I want to have one at each corner. It'd be overkill, but at least then I haven't got to worry about doing guards for a bit. Yeah, I definitely need to do the wood cutter so I can get wood for arrows. One should be sufficient, I guess. But I'll do two because then I can build out of wood as well. Oh, wow, there's the 30 minute timer. Well, so that's my progress so far. Like I say, I will keep doing 30 minute episodes until update 4 comes out. 
and then I'm going to start over and we can take a look at all the new changes but it's still going to be a few weeks apparently before the update might even be longer than that so I'll see how many episodes I can get done in the meantime the main focus next will be doing working doing a tree farm and then trying to work my way towards um, more colonists and so more food anyway we'll take a look as we progress wherever you are in the world god bless you and keep every last one of you safe thank you for watching and have a fantastic day goodbye